Hello there! So, uh, just got done watching uh, Annabelle. It came out in 2014. Yeah, so I'm kind of watching these movies in order. Um, not in order the way they came out. In order uh, of timeline wise, of the Conjuring film series timeline wise. And um, I have to say it kind of, it, it makes a lot more sense when you watch it in the right order. Because um, I actually watched, I watched The Nun first and then I watched The Conjuring. Which is kind of okay because um, The Conjuring was the first movie to come out and Annabelle was kind of only in it a little bit. Not that much. Um, which is fine, and that'll that's going to be my next uh, re movie review because that's I think that's the next one in the timeline. Um, but um, yeah, like uh, then I watched the nun, and then I watched uh, the Annabelle um, beginning. See, I can't remember the name of it. It was the prequel to Annabelle, anyway. And uh, what I noticed was that the, there seems to be a team. In the three movies was sisters. There was kind of like in the Conjuring, there's like blood sisters. In the nuns, there's like well, the sisters are habits and nuns. And then in um, the previous movie, there was uh, like there were like adopted sisters. Like you know, they were kind of they're all like um, what you call it. Uh, they're all living in an orphanage, but they're all these little girls living in an orphanage, and they're kind of like sisters to each other, which was nice. But, um, so this this movie kind of picks up, I think it was made before the prequel, but it does pick up right after uh, where that movie ends. So, uh, imagine if you're watching if this, if you're watching this um, review you'll have seen the previous movie where uh where it ends where well there's actually a trailer for the nun but uh, never mind that but the, it actually ends where like you know the, there's this blonde woman who's pregnant and then this guy comes out of a house to try and help the neighbors save their neighbors from being a, a home invasion and there's where the, where this movie kind of begins which is bloody brilliant like i kind of sets up the couple first five minutes with the priest and then it gets into the home invasion and uh and it doesn't show the home invasion because if you've, you've seen that already in the last movie and uh that's that's pretty good uh yeah well, after watching this movie um before i get into the review itself i would actually recommend watching them in the timeline because that actually makes sense a couple of the actors have been switched out which is um which I suppose is is it's unfortunate but I guess like you know they've made one film before the other and then it's like to change the mind to make because Annabelle um not Annabelle the girl in the last movie she's also in this movie but she's like the had her younger and it kind of you know I, I guess they padded that out later on. But anyway I digress. Um, so yeah, so I to begin with like it, it, I want to go with Spire straight on because like that's what this is kind of. Uh, well, I mean, uh, first of all, like you know, I do recommend the film. Is it, it is a good horror movie. It is a good, you know. Um, there's a couple of false scares in it, but that's okay. But I mean, most of it is really interesting. It's really good, and I'm going to get into that now. But, um, yeah, I do recommend you watch it in the correct, you know, in the timeline order. Not the way it came out, the timeline order. Um, because they, they make sense and they're actually really good. And Annabelle, and it, the only thing that re didn't really make much sense to me was, like, at the beginning of the movie, well, at the end of the last movie, the demon possesses the little girl and calls herself Annabelle. And at the beginning of this movie... Uh, there's the whole home invasion, and then she goes into the room, uh, the baby's room. She finds the doll, kills herself, and puts, and then the demon goes back into the doll. I was like, what, what, like, what the, f like, why? 
Like, what? Like, it seemed to me, like, and throughout the movie they kept saying, oh, they were part of a cult. And it's just like, well, okay, then why didn't they just stay with the cult? Like, what, what? And I kept waiting for a twist, because they kept making allies. And I kept waiting for one of them to, um, to be like, um, you know, a cult member. And, like, what, like, a kind of... There was a lot of references to, um, oh, I can't remember the name. There was a film that came out in the 70s, and this movie is actually set in the 70s, which is crazy. But, uh, yeah, it's, I can't remember, it's sort of Sophie's Baby or something. I can't remember, the, but it was basically about a woman who was going to give birth, and, like, the whole, everybody in the complex belonged to this evil cult, and the baby was the Antichrist, and... It's a crazy movie, but it's really funny, actually, because it's, you know, kind of old and, you know, it's it's really funny. This movie, too, had its funny bits. It really did. Because in the start, um, like I said, the, the demon went back into the doll. And uh, then the doll was, like, um, you know, there. And... Uh, but then, you know, the mother didn't want it anymore because, like, it was like, oh, you one had it. I don't really want it anymore. But then she changed her mind about it. Uh, so a little weird things start happening. You know, the TV goes on and off. Uh, but then uh, then there's a big fire uh, caused by, like, some popcorn, which is really weird. But, like, that's the point of the movie. It's really weird. But, um... Yeah, so a couple of little weird things starts happening at first, but then it, then after the fire, it like then they have to move to an apartment, and then they start and then like there's weird stuff happening in the apartment, and then um, then like you know the the mother meets a woman in a bookshop, and um, after the fire because she thinks. <laughs> Well, during the fire, she's pulled back into the fire. Like, so tried to pull her back into the fire while she was trying to run away. Because she ran away and she fell. Then to try to pull her back into the fire. But, um... Anyway. Um... So that's why kind of... She was like, okay, this is like... Possession or something. Um... And then there was... There was like... So then there was like points where she actually saw the demon. And there was a great... Like, there is great scenes, but the great scene was where she was in the basement of the apartment complex and she was just putting away something. And then she sees the demon in the corner and she goes, you know, and she goes to the lift of the elevator and she tries to press the button and the doors just keep, open, like, you know, the doors close and then the doors open and she goes, oh, and she walks out, oh my God, I'm still in the basement. And uh, like, and, but the demon grabbed her. And left the big A on her arm. And like that's kind of. That was the clue to like what part. What demon it was you know. Which is really good. And then uh, I can't remember if she goes to the bookshop before or after that. But anyway. She goes to the bookshop. She meets um, a lovely woman. Who lost her daughter to in a car accident. And uh, the woman actually played. Uh, the actress played. Uh, like the boss of. Of the Suicide Squad. I can't remember her name. I'm awful with actors names. But it doesn't matter. Uh, she was in the Suicide Squad. And she was she was pretty good in that. But she was really good in this. Uh, she really is a great actress. But um. Yeah. So she tries to help them out. And then they go to the priest. And the priest tries to help them out. And uh, it's like. I don't want to ruin it too much for you. But like. The, there is a great like sometimes you see like a shadow in the mirror and then sometimes you see like when it's more obvious like it's, just, like it's kind of like the ring the girl in the white dress with the long black hair walking around the apartment you know um there's a ghostbusters 2 reference when um the the uh, the buggy goes out into the road and like but actually it gets hit by something, but the baby wasn't in it. Oh, thank God. But uh, yeah, but that was kind of, but they do show her holding the baby before the buggy gets hit. So it's kind of like, okay. 
and the books go flying, you know, and uh, but that's okay. But I was constantly waiting for one of them to like switch to you know to reveal that they're really in the cult and that they are trying to get the demon into the baby or something. But that didn't happen. Um, which is really like you know okay so you expert you. you you diverted my expectations there. Um, that was good. I was actually happy with that. Um, the guy who plays the priest was in Stargate. And um, oh, he's such a good actor. And uh, I, was, I was delighted to see him again. Because I hadn't seen him since Stargate ended. And I was like, oh my god, brilliant. Um, it's a show I miss. But um, yeah, the blonde woman... Um, was really good on it. Uh, I think I remember her being in like um, a music video and uh, she was just gorgeous and I can't remember um, hang on I'm just gonna google it the cast of Annabelle I'm just gonna google it <laughs> Um, so yeah, so she was really good and she's kind of the main focus of the movie and uh, so there's a lot right now, it kind of reminds me of a Hitchcock movie where a lot of, you know, it's just following the one woman and it kind of makes a great break from the other movies because there was a lot of, uh, in the other movies there was a lot of different characters and there was a lot of moving parts whereas this was just kind of Again, it kind of reminded me of Ghostbusters 2, where it's just the mother and the baby, and the baby's, you know, there's a ghost after the baby, and the, and on the set of Ghostbusters helping uh, the mother, uh, you have, um, like, just the priest and this uh, bookshop owner, and um, the cast of Annabelle. <laughs> Technology, I swear to God. <laughs> but um, yeah. So there was a lot. Of, so there was a lot of like really good bits in this, and then it kind of it's only on for an hour and a half, which is really good. But I'll talk about the ending. So if you don't want to watch this, to be talk about this kind of, you can end the thing now. But uh, the ending, I will say, was really good because the priest. Um, actually tried to get rid of the doll he, he tried to bring it to the church and the demon showed up and he was just like okay just ignore the demon get the doll into the church and it would not let him into the church it just blew him away and I was just like oh no it's it's going to die he's like the priest is going to die I think I can get better reception up there ah no I can't the cast of Annabelle I swear to God, I'm going to get her name. Um, but yeah. It was... A, so, eventually, like... Um, <laughs> okay, so Annabelle Wallace, thank you, is the... Who's Robert? That's, there's a little boy in here? Oh yeah, there was a little boy in the staircase. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Yeah, Annabelle Wallace. Oh, that's... <laughs> so that was a... a Ward Horton. Yeah, funny. Well, played the guy of uh, the husband. So Annabelle, I'm just going to call her Annabelle. That's really funny. Um, I'm going to tap on her. To see what else she was in. Was she in High School Musical? Or was she in um, the TV show? Uh, anyway, I can't remember. So Annabelle Horton was in... Uh, the Mummy. Oh yeah, she was in The Mummy 2017 with Tom Cruise. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't... She was okay in that, but I think she was kind of younger in that. Oh yeah, she was in Pinky Blinders as well. Yeah, that was sad. 
So she she's or she's in tag, I didn't see that. King Arthur, the legend of Yeah, that was a good film. Um Yeah, so she's in a few good stuff. Yeah, I got that's that's what she was in. She was in Pinky Blinders. And uh spoilers for that, she got killed off in Pinky Blinders, which was a tragedy. Which was like she like I wonder if she got killed off to do this. Oh, then she was in The Mummy, then after Annabelle. Oh. Because Annabelle came out in 2014. Yeah. Ah, she's a lot better. She's a really good actress. Like, I don't know. Uh, anyway. Um, yeah, so the end of the film, um, you know, came time. It, it, the priest warned her, like, the the demon isn't after the baby like that was the twist that was a good twist that the demon wasn't after the baby soul it was actually after Annabelle's uh soul like the the mother soul uh so then um so lucky enough uh the husband got to her and the the bookshop owner got to her and then the bookshop owner ended up uh, committing suicide to give her soul to the demon so that they would leave them alone. And um, and I can just like you know and it was played by an African American actress, and I can just imagine African Americans going, for you know typical like the African American has to sacrifice themselves for the what for the lovely white family. I just like <laughs> I was just like, oh the mid like. Oh no, why? Don't do that. Don't. Why did it do that? That's. Oh. It's six years ago now. <laughs> I like, you know. Um, yeah. But. Oh gosh. I wonder if she. The actress. I wonder if she. Quit. Pinky Blinders to be in this. I wonder if she. I wonder. I don't know. I don't know the time. Maybe she made it in between. Season one and season two. Yeah, because she wasn't in season two a lot. So maybe she made this in between. Um, possible. I don't know. But yeah, I recommend the film. Uh, it's really good. There is, there is its funny parts. Because that's why I like watching horror movies. Because it's funny. Um, but uh, yeah, she was. It, it did remind me of a, a Hitchcock movie. Um like boards or something uh but yeah it was it was really good do recommend it i'm wearing the hoodie because uh at the time of recording this i'm still in lockdown it's what dates today it's the 23rd of may 2020 i'm still in lockdown i had a lockdown haircut it's not great i'm wearing the hoodie the whole time um but yeah i recommend this film really good really funny it's not on for that long it feels like it's on longer but it's not actually on for that long um it's good t timing and pacing in it some really good bits like look at reflections and stuff because you know there's stuff in the reflect and just the scene where the doll just kind of sits up and then stands up and then all of a sudden it's in the air and you're thinking oh that's great but then the mother sees it and then you can see the demon behind the doll and I was like oh crap and it actually showed I think this movie showed the demon more than uh, the other movies did and for me less is more but um, but it was okay in this movie I think it was pretty good in this movie I think it was alright um, the demon and the nun was kind of weird it was different, but it wasn't as scary. It was kind of like jokey. But anyway. Uh, so yeah, uh, the next movie review you're going to see is The Conjuring. And it's going to be filmed like I filmed it weeks ago. And I'm going to pretend like I don't... I'm not going to pretend like I'm going to be like... I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, but uh, yeah, so the next one I'm going to be in it will be... I think it's another animal movie that happens after The Conjuring. Um... But anyway, see what happens. So check out my previous movie review on my next movie review. And then I'll put the list of movie reviews here. 
check out my channel. I did other movie reviews. Um, I do my main thing is noodle reviews. Uh, I try to make funny videos as well. Uh, there's some funny stuff. Um, funny stuff. Funny scenes I made in college and that. So thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Goodbye. <laughs>